I would guess that because of the way that scientists are trained, that typically you're not trained in the philosophy of science and typically not trained in the history of science unless that's your focus. But then you're not a scientist, you're a philosopher or a historian. But if people were trained in the philosophy and history of science, they would see that it is part of this long evolutionary trend. It's just that when you, when you get into the, the, the daily work, you're a bench scientist or a mathematician or something, you can't think about such things very much. Uh, I think it is valuable to think about, about how every, everything hangs together, about a holistic fabric where you're, you're studying little pieces of the fabric, the threads of the fabric, for example. But I don't think very many people think of it on a daily basis. It may be that some small percentage of scientists are, are naturally uh, drawn to this idea of how, how does the thing that I'm studying fit in a larger context? And so for scientists who think about that, they eventually get to the idea of if they push it far enough that the universe is really just one big thing. And of course now in physics, well maybe there is a multiverse. There, the universe is one thing of many universes, but nevertheless you see it in context. I've always naturally gravitated towards that idea, that, that we're part of this long historical trend and an evolutionary trend, and, and everything is always connected all the time. But I can't even maintain that if I'm involved in an experiment, because there's stuff to do. There, you, know, it, it, you have to get into details in order to get anything actually done.